the hype for the DCEU's Flash movie is at an all-time high. And with the film's release just around the corner, we here at Hero Tweak wanted to share why we think this movie is destined to cross the coveted billion dollar box office mark. I like money. Stay until the end of the video to find out what we think is the biggest reason why this movie is destined to succeed. First, let's address the elephant in the room right off the bat, and that being Ezra Miller. Ezra has been in a lot of heat lately. I'm sure you already know, but Ezra went to Hawaii and absolutely terrorized the island. We are not a drama channel though, so we won't get into it. If you want to, just do a little research and catch up on all that was done. But there have been reports that Ezra has sought mental health and is in a much better space, a much better head space, and is remorseful. Regardless on if that's true or not, people don't feel like the price has been paid for the crime committed. And you may say, wouldn't that stop The Flash from being a billion dollar movie in and of itself? And to you, I say maybe it should but evidence has shown us otherwise. What do I mean? When people dislike something or someone, they do something called hate watching. A perfect example of this is the HBO Max reimagining of Velma from Mystery Inc. and Scooby-Doo. People absolutely hated that show and it was widely known as an example of when you use recognizable IP and just do whatever you want with it. Even though it was met with criticism after criticism, it was still very successful if you just look at the streaming numbers alone. This example leads me to believe that those who are avid DC haters, those who are Ezra Miller haters, those who are James Gunn haters and want this to fail, want him to fail at being the co-CEO of DC Studios, they will look for any reason to criticize anything that they do. This leads me to believe that they will be buying the tickets to see this movie that they want to fail so bad, only to say that it sucked and review bomb it. I know, weird, right? Welcome to humankind. Real world drama aside, Gunn, Safran, and DC made a bold move that ultimately paid off for them. They showed the movie with unfinished VFX and all to an audience at CinemaCon. James Gunn has been going on and on about how much he loves this movie, and quite frankly, he put his faith behind his words by airing it out there. This could have broken the movie. If fans saw it and disliked it, social media would have drugged the movie through the mud. But the opposite happened and fans have been praising this movie to the highest degree, saying it's the best DC movie since the Nolan Dark Knight series. And that's high praise, especially when Matt Reeves Batman exists. This drastically raised the hype level for the movie and I can't open up YouTube or Twitter without seeing something about The Flash now. Another reason why I'm confident this movie will be a box office hit is because of nostalgia. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Having Batfleck, Michael Keaton's Batman, and supposedly countless other cameos from previous DC universes, fans of those franchises are gonna come out from everywhere, come out of the house to see their favorite iterations of these characters on the big screen once more. Finally, the biggest reason, this is, this is the thing. I think this movie has something that may be the most important thing when creating a superhero cinematic universe, value. This movie absolutely matters for the future. In fact, there's not a movie that matters more for DC in 2023 than The Flash. James Gunn himself said that The Flash movie will reset the DC timeline. Without this movie, we wouldn't have a reason for our new Superman legacy movie. We wouldn't have a reason for our Batman Brave and the Bold movie and all of the other projects that are vital to the DCU. This to me may be the reason why this movie is a box office smash. Now of course, the movie actually has to live up to the hype for all of these variables to align in the perfect way, but do not underestimate the power of a universe changing movie and a clear direction forward. Something that, quite frankly, I feel hurt Shazam a lot. This lack of direction, this lack of value to the DCU, and if you want to see more of my thoughts on why I think Shazam failed outside of what I just mentioned, then check this video out next. Until next time, like, share, subscribe, all the youtuber -y things that we ask you to do. 
see you, chump. 